Hello, this is Sandy with Sandy's Crafty Creations. In this tutorial, I am upcycling a picture frame that I purchased at the local antique mall. Uh, and I'm using Graphic 45's DIY paper rolls, which is a really fun paper to use for upcycling. And I'm going to show you how I turned this picture frame into a tea or serving tray. the antique mall I also purchased two drawer pulled handles for this tray and you do need to drill the holes that you need onto the frame prior to starting your decoupage. The first thing I did was remove any picture hanging sawtooth hardware from the frame and then I opened up the back of the frame and took the hardboard backing and saved that and removed all of the photo matting paper. And then I carefully removed the glass and set that aside so that it, it wouldn't get broken. And since this was purchased at an antique mall, it had been sitting on a shelf for a while, and I only paid a dollar and a half for this, so I was really excited to, to get this particular frame. It was about a one inch wide all the way around, and it's very flat, even though it has the ruler marks on it, it is smooth. So I took a white cloth and some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and cleaned the frame to remove any oils or fingerprints or dust and things that might have been on it so that the paper would stick good. The next thing I did is I chose my pattern of the Graphic 45 DIY papers that I wanted to use on my frame and I cut out four pieces paying attention to the direction of the pattern of the paper to use to cover the frame on all four sides of it on the front. So you would just take your frame and measure how much paper you would need to cover each section and allowing enough to wrap around both sides on the inside and the outside of the frame. I laid the first section, first piece of paper down over the bottom of the frame and folded back the paper on the ends to get a placement for the line of the mitered line of the frame so that I could match the paper to the corners of the frame and then I trimmed those off with my scissors And this is when you would pay attention to your pattern. Uh, if there's anything on the pattern design that you want to make sure that it shows on the frame well, then you would uh, plan accordingly and move the paper up and down to accommodate that and take in mind the line of the ends of the paper to match the corners. To attach the paper to the frame and to seal it, I used Ink Essentials Rangers Gloss Finish Glue and Seal and I used a silicone brush but before I did that I also decided to spritz the paper with just a little bit of water to help the paper to fold and mold around the frame. Now the DIY paper is not as thick as scrap paper so you might be able to get away with not doing this step but when I've decoupaged before, I've always um, dampened the paper just a little bit so that it bends and th doesn't crack. So after you spritz it with water, take a uh, dry towel, clean dry towel, and blot the water up. And then I prep the wood. You can either just put it on the back of your, your uh, paper or you can apply it to the, the wood section, either one. Um, for this section I put it on the wood and later I added it to the back of the paper which I think it worked better by adding it to the back of the paper. And I'm using a silicone brush that I purchased at the local scrapbook store. Um, it looks just like a brush but the it doesn't have any bristles, it's all silicone, it washes easily and I really like that feature because I don't use brushes a whole lot in my projects so having that where I can wash it and not have anything in the bristles works really well for me. So I applied the medium 
to the outside of the frame, the flat edge, and then also on the inside, on the outside and inside edges. Then I attach the paper down, spreading it out with my hands to, to not have any bubbles, and then folded it over into the inside and then over on the outside as well. Once you have the front side attached down, then you will want to turn your frame over and wrap and attach and add more medium to attach the paper onto the frame on the back side. If your frame has the swivel holders for the glass, Take your scissors and just cut a slot in your paper so that you can leave those free and you can attach the paper down around the swivel attachments. Once a section is attached and have excess paper sticking over the corners, take your scissors and trim that off and then either use your brush or your fingers to apply a bit of more of the medium to make sure that those edges of the paper are attached down securely. Continue adding medium and wrapping the other sides of your frame. Remember to fold your paper to get your cut line for the mitered corners on the top and bottom of each section.
make sure that you use a piercing tool to pierce the holes that you drilled earlier for your handles so that you know where to attach the handles after the frame is completely covered on the front and the back. Once the front side has been completely attached and the most of the inside has been attached, you'll notice you'll have some areas where the wood is still showing. Take scraps of paper and cover the corners, or cut triangle shapes of paper and cover the corners with more glue and seal. And then you will cut the corners of the paper and then attach it down with more glue and seal to finish off the back edge. Once your frame is dry, you'll want to choose a distress ink. Um, I used a brown color, uh, one of the lighter brown colors will do to add some shabby chic look to your frame. Uh, look for areas where you may have accidentally touched the frame with your fingers and, and a little bit of the paper may have peeled off. I had one or two places that I uh, re-inked like that and then I inked the edges on the inside and outside and a little bit on the top of the frame. Next I took my silicone brush again and some of the glue and seal and brushed the top sides of the entire frame piece to, to seal it and finish it off. I then let my frame dry overnight before uh, attaching the handles to the frame to create a the tray. Uh, the holes were drilled before the frame was decoupaged and then I took a piercing tool and pierced through the paper where the holes were drilled so that I could attach the drawer pull handles on each side and I did attach them to each end of the frame and I used shorter screws than what came with the drawer pulls so you do have to uh, take it down to the hardware store and buy you some shorter frames I mean some shorter screws and then use a screwdriver to attach your handles to each end of your frame. Next I took the DIY paper and I took the hardboard backing uh, that came out of the frame and measured and marked off my cutting lines and cut out some of the paper. I uh, used the butterfly side in the pattern that I chose and I'm cutting out a piece to uh, glue using the glue and seal on one side and I used my silicone brush and brushed the entire side and then attached the paper down and smoothed it out with my hands and a brayer to get out any bubbles to finish the background for the tray. Next I selected the deluxe collector's edition of The Lady's Diary from Graphic 45 and cut out the papers that I wanted to use inside the glass of the frame as a background. And I also cut out some black cardstock to mat some of the patterned papers to give it a layered look. And so here I am gluing the papers together onto the mats and getting them ready to glue onto the butterfly background. Next, I used my ruler to determine the center of the background and where I wanted to glue the layered pieces into the center of the frame.
Next, I put the glass back in the frame and placed it over the background to determine where I would like to glue the fussy cut flowers that I cut out of the Lady's Diary paper from Graphic 45. And I began by gluing flowers. Uh, I inked some of the areas on the flowers to give it a little dimension. And then I began gluing them on the left hand corner of the background along the matted layers of the paper. I also fussy cut out one of the butterflies from the DIY paper and also from the opposite side I fussy cut out a dragonfly and added that with some flowers on the right hand side of the paper. And I'm going to speed this up in this section of the tutorial uh, so that you can see how I laid out the flowers and glued them into the background of the frame. After I finished putting all the flowers on the background, I put it back into the glass in the frame and then I glued various Prima flowers onto the left hand corner of the frame by the handle. I also fussy cut out a butterfly and added glossy accents and then glued it onto the top of the flowers. And then I glued in some various beads, uh, gold beads and rhinestones. That's my upcycled picture frame into a tea tray. Thanks for watching.